I went to bleed in races, cause on the 9th of June, 1862, on a summer's afternoon, I took the bus to Bamberg's and she was heavy laden. The way we went along Collingwood Street, that's on the road to bleeding. You're watching Toonami TV, breaking news. Newcastle United have signed Callum Wilson on a four-year contract from Bournemouth. He signed on an undisclosed fee, but it is believed to be in the region of £20 million. I'm absolutely delighted with this. He's an England international. We needed a striker. And welcome to the club, Callum Wilson. Now, Callum Wilson has said in a statement this afternoon on the Newcastle United official website, from the minute I knew that Newcastle were interested, it was definitely something that appealed to me. It's a massive club with great history. Along the years, they've had great strikers, so I can emulate half of what they have done. I'd like to attempt that. I believe in my ability as a player. As a striker, I think it's important to set yourself goals, long-term and short-term, and I'm hoping to achieve them. With the players around me, I believe we can get the goals we need as a team. And I want to help contribute to that. That's good words by Callum Wilson. He's saying all the right things. He really wants to do well short term and long term. He wants to try and be like maybe Alan Shearer, players of the past. And he comes with great pedigree, you know, with international experience playing for England. He's got a great chance uh, to play in the Euros next summer if he comes into the club and he settles down and he gets to know all of the players around him and... Uh, I think he's what we need right now. I think he can add goals to his game. You know, Bournemouth, he scored double figures. Ball last season because he had an injury. But if he didn't get an injury, I reckon Bournemouth would have stayed up because he's such a reliable uh, type player. I mean, there's no words for how good Callum Wilson is as a striker. You know, he doesn't just score tap-ins. He scores worldy goals, you know, from outside the box. He scores free kicks. He makes himself a presence. He's got pace. But, you know, he's in the right place at the right time. He's an upgrade on our current four strikers in Andy Carroll, Mudu, Dwight Gale and Joe Linton. And uh, just imagine if we play a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1 with you know, Callum Wilson on one side, Joe Linton on the left, you've got ASM on the right, you've got Miggy in the number 10, you've got Almiron, you're potentially helping them out in support, you've got Hayden and Shelby. That is going to be some attack force to be reckoned with if it clicks. And uh, Callum Wilson is or ideal number nine. He's been given the number nine shirt, so he's been given the responsibility. And uh, I'm happy with this because Joe Linton, for me, last season, just didn't do it, and uh, he simply wasn't good enough uh, for that number. Maybe it might take a bit of pressure off, but with Joe Linton having that pressure off, the pressure is now on Callum Wilson to deliver, and uh, I believe he will do. It's going to take him a bit of time to settle in, but this is a step in the right direction for this football club, and we needed to address it with... You know, losing to the likes of Middlesbrough and Stoke. Uh, Steve Bruce has went on to say, Callum is somebody I've admired for a long time and I'm delighted to get him. He has done fantastically well at Bournemouth and was deservedly playing centre-forward for England less than two years ago. The club has worked ever so hard to get Callum here and we have been off competition from a number of clubs. I'm grateful the club uh, has made it happen. Lee Charnley and those behind the scenes deserve a lot of credit. Um, Wilson began... His career at Coventry City, rising through the club's academy and enjoying loan spells at Kettering Town and Tamworth before scoring 23 goals in 55 senior appearances for the Sky Blues. Now, that's just a bit of an add-on from uh, what Steve Bruce had to say from the club itself. And uh, I have to say, it's an absolute steal if it is 20 million quid. I mean, he's got so much potential and let's hope he can fire us some goals, maybe get one higher in the league. Last season, we finished mid-table. But with more additions, I mean, with potentially Ryan Fraser signing later on or maybe tomorrow and Jamal Lewis signing either Tuesday or Wednesday, things are looking up and that's what you want, you know, just to sign him through the door to get fans back on board and get ready for the new season. And uh, like I say, I wish Callum Wilson all the very best and I have to say I'm excited by this. I haven't been excited for a striker coming into this football club since we signed Papi Cissé from Freiburg and we had that partnership with Denver Bomb. We were banging in goals he has got so much potential to score goals for us if it clicks with ASM and maybe Joe Linton playing in his preferred position at left wing. But we'll wait and see where that goes. But what I will say from my point of view, I'm excited. Welcome to the club. And I have to say, Bournemouth are getting a really good deal here as well. 
uh, if it is believed to be 20 million quid that they can use that to bolster the side and uh, like I say good luck for the up and coming season that's our third signing uh, for the new season I'm sure there's plenty more to come but if you enjoy the content make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel turn your notification bell on as there's plenty more videos to come let me know down below in the comments what you think of the signing of Callum Wilson and I'll see you all later